In this video I'll be making a hot wire cutter. Uh, apologies to all those using imperial measurements. This is all in metric. First thing to do is to cut out the top and bottom material. I just had some scraps around my shed. So for the sake of the environment I just cut these up to, to size. Basically this is just a case of marking out the, the size of the bed I want. I only need to cut material 100 by 100 so the base doesn't need to be much bigger but you can scale yours up or down as, as you please. So I just chop these up with a jigsaw and we're good to go to the next step. Next bits we need to organise are the sides. I didn't have any of this wood with me so I decided to go down to the hardware shop and get some. It's just some pine. So I just marked this off next to the um, top and bottom I've already cut because those bits of material weren't particularly straight so I just want to make sure it all sort of lines up when I cut them up. Next thing to do is to attach my bow. The thing with nichrome wire is once it heats up it starts to um, stretch out so we need to give a bit of tension on. Uh, normally I'd use a spring but I'm just using the properties of this PLA material to um, keep the cable, uh, keep the nichrome nice and tight when it's cutting. You can see once it's on it's got a bit of a spring to it so it's going to work perfectly for this. Next thing is the nichrome wire. You know, I could have had a few options here but I found this heater was only a couple of dollars. The thickness of the nichrome is probably not too important. I mean um, there's a few around if you can't find any. They have a lot of this material in vape stores uh, so if the electronic shops doesn't have any you can probably grab some from, from there and um, the thickness like again this doesn't sort of matter you can just see power going into it and once it's hot and it's glowing red it's it's good to cut next thing to do is the centerpiece which has got a critical part once you've got this in place it's just got a little metal watch washer there to stop it from burning the pla if the bend wire bends but you've just got to move this base bit sort of back and forward to line up the um, nichrome wire so you want it to the nichrome wire to be totally um, vertical and square to the frame so and then move your um, piece of wood to match and then in the base bit where it keeps it down you put in your metal washer and your bolts to hold it in position so this is my first test just to see if it was going to do the job or not I, my computer power supply there any computer power supply will do as long as it can supply 12 volts or even an old laptop supply would be fine and um, we'll just give it a test with this pull noodle and it goes through it like a hot knife through butter so it looks like it's going to work fine for us top felt like it was getting warm but not hot enough to melt it needs to get about 200 degrees up there but the nut is uh, absorbing most of the heat i made another version which is uses a bigger nut just in case um, so maybe check that out in the files next thing to do is to fit the front face here so I just drilled some holes there to make sure the wood didn't split before I put the, um, the screws in and then it was a case of putting in the motor speed controller and the then drill the holes in the back for the terminals banana terminals from the power supply the thing is with using computer power supply you're not tied down to any particular power supply right so many like I say, any computer power supply will work. So this just a case of hooking up the wiring now and feeding it through the back and of course just the 12 volt sign there so we know what kind of power supply it needs. The wiring is pretty straightforward. You've got two wires coming in from the power supply and they feed up into the speed controller. One wire from the speed controller goes to the bottom and the other one goes across the top to the nut at the top where it will um, complete the circuit for the nichrome wire to heat up. Then it's just a case of putting the base on the bottom, it's just a bit of a manhole cover so if I need to go in there later on and adjust the tension or replace the wire it's easy enough for me to get in there and, and put it on. Once that's all together of course the base is, sits a bit proud with that manhole cover I had a couple of rubber feet from another project so I chucked those on each corner so it nice, sits nice and flat on the on the desk without wobbling around and once they're on it's it's pretty solid and, and firm next thing to do is to put the guides on so, so the guide rails so i've just got a couple of wing nuts on there and they slide up and down on these rails and they simply just 
through onto the side so just line them up at the back and and screw them in and just do a quick test to make sure it slides back and forward nicely without it, without it winding up so once it's all assembled i uh, gave one more test it's good with that motor controller you can see i was going to add a light to the front but it's pretty clear when it's turned on that it's working because the uh, light shines through the acrylic there and just uh, crank it up it was a bit slow uh, the first time because uh, obviously had the power a bit too low so i just uh, gave it a bit more uh, power it doesn't take much really and um, of course the hotter it gets the quicker it's going to burn through and this next one just um, flies through so it's definitely going to work for us still getting a bit hot on the top there but still not much of a concern i don't think it's going to melt like i say the front switch is a, is a power off and power on button as well as it's got an LED so I know when it's actually heating up or turning on but the hot wire will tell you pretty quick as well because it glows a good red hot. So let's check the show notes for all the screws types that I'd use. So again they're all going to be in metric but if you get something close in apparel you'll probably be right and you can be pretty flexible with the um, dimensions uh, it's something sort of size it has to be. That's pretty much it for this project. If you like projects that uh, you can make yourself, please subscribe. Aside from that, thanks for watching.